Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, let us have a discussion about the cold war between Supreme Area Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity right there in Delta State, in the city of Agba to be precise. The last time I spoke about this particular cold war right here on YouTube was two weeks ago when two young men were brought down. So, let's take a look at what has been going on for the past two weeks because the cold war is still very active. As a matter of fact, someone was brought down two nights ago and someone was also brought down last night. So before I go into all that, I quickly want to thank each and every one of you who are subscribed to this platform and always like my videos. Thank you guys for 21,900 subscribers. And I want to give the biggest thanks to the people who have clicked the join button to join this channel. It is just a way to financially support this platform and I am very grateful to you guys. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So since the last video that I posted about this cold war, a lot of things has happened. So a day after I posted this video, a young man was brought down right there in Agbo. This young man was said to be a member of AA and he was brought down in a hotel. Now the thing about that young man that was brought down, he wasn't in the hotel to hide. He was actually there to enjoy himself because the young man doesn't live in Nigeria. He came to Nigeria, went to his hometown right there in Agbo and he took a friend to a hotel called Highlight Hotel just to have fun, to enjoy himself and the young man was brought down right there in the hotel. And for those of you that have been following the story, you will remember that this court war started in the same hotel. That is where the court class started some weeks ago. So after the young man was brought down in the hotel, the government decided to do something about this court war and they placed a curfew in the city of Agbo to the extent that there were military officers in every junction. So what happened was that if the military officers find you outside after 8 p.m., they are going to flog your yash. So because of this, the confraternity members decided to cease fire. So fast forward two weeks, which was two days ago, when they have lifted the curfew, when there are no military officers in the road anymore, the confraternity members pull a hit again. That is when the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down. Now, the name of this young man is Elvis and he works in a car wash where they wash Okada and cars and he gets paid for it. So the young man is said to be a member of Eye, but unfortunately he was brought down two nights ago by some young men who are said to be members of Vikings. So after this happened, there was a retaliation last night. So the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down as a retaliation and this young man is said to be a member of vikings and he was brought down by some young men that are said to be members of AA. now take a look at this young man this promising looking young man the people that are supposed to have future are being brought down because of a very young girl a very little girl for that matter and this young man right here seems like he is already married and now he is being brought down because of a very young girl. I think this really has to stop. Now information that is reaching me right now is that the female in question already have another man. But young men are going down just because of her. You know what? No matter how stubborn these confraternities are in Agbo, I think they really have to settle. If not for anything, but they have to settle just because of the reason they started fighting because this is shameful to be sincere anyway guys i just want to let you guys know that the cult war in Agbo is still very active so that you wouldn't just go to Agbo and start walking anyhow up and down anyway guys you're watching nigerian view